You know, not to be too gross or anything, but um, I feel like squatting in the bushes to take a poop is probably the best poop, <laughs> kind of poop, I've ever taken in my life. Everything gets out. Anyways, good morning from Big Ben. Look at how beautiful it is out here. My poop is somewhere out there. But look at this incredible sunrise. We're doing a uh, time lapse as we speak. We got uh, Nick Black Pearl Travato hanging out over there doing, what are you doing over there? Taking some pictures. Taking some pictures of probably his van. He's obsessed. I totally understand. It's pretty cool. Um, anyways, we are uh, out here. By the way, I haven't broken my streak. I didn't pay. Thank you, Nick, for the uh, shared parking space. You're welcome, brother. How much was it? Twelve bucks. Twelve bucks for both of us. Twelve bucks overnight. Um, this is one of the remote camping spots. Pack in, pack out. We're both self-contained. We're both boondockers. So basically. It's bring BYO everything out here. Um, and it is very, very remote. There is a little, if you saw yesterday's video, there is another little campsite over here, which we swapped out because this one was way bigger for the vehicles, uh, for larger vehicles. But um, we are eight miles from the road. The road is three miles from a gas station and visitor center. We're completely out in nature. Just hear how quiet it is. Listen to this. The only thing you can hear out here is a roaming wild clerodactyl. What? How'd you sleep last night? Great. It wasn't even cold. Oh, good. Yeah. That's very true. It was nice. And I think it rained last night. Just a little bit. Roll up my window, don't know where I'm bound. Driving by, by the way, last night I was gonna move this rock to stand on it for our showers. And uh, I was totally joking. I just noticed there was an archaeological uh, thing here, and there's something inside, and it was buried. Uh, what is it? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is? Is this? this? Is this like big bread or something? It's a pipe. Uh, Wait, is it not? Yeah, it looks like a yeah. pipe. Cause there's a hole there, there's a hole there, and a hole there, and I don't know what. Is this someone's old crack pipe? If you guys lost a crack, crack pipe at Big Ben, comment below. For the longtime uh, viewers, you'll remember about a year ago, I was in New Mexico and I got a giant rock stuck in between the dual rear tires. Well, guess what? Today, the same thing happened. Last year, I borrowed tools. I beat it out with a hammer. It took me like two hours to get this darn rock out. I'm gonna show you a way to remove the rock within a couple of minutes using a toe strap. All right, so step one, you uh, wrap it around the rock. Step two, you uh, loop it through. All right, step three, you wanna get the rock uh, touching the ground, and then we will do step four, which is reverse. And you're gonna reverse over the toe strap. Step four, you just go reverse uh, straight back. We uh, film the, uh, the rock get snapped out. Yeah. That was so much easier than two hours in the New Mexican desert whacking that thing out with all kinds of tools. So, as you can see, it just, you know, it grips the rock and just uh, use the own, um, basically just use the force of uh, your own vehicle, which is a lot more powerful than your two hands. That's it. how much smoother it is. Uh, eight, uh, 16 miles round trip of uh, dirt roads and rocks between the tires. 
Man, this thing gets so noisy in here. Um, oh, anyways, we're gonna go down to uh, the Rio Grande or Grande, however it's you guys pronounce it here in Texas or outside. I just call it the Grande. Um, but there's a, a Rio Grande overlook, and then there's a port of entry. You can cross the border via uh, a, a boat on the Mexican side that come and get you for five bucks or something like that. I don't know. We'll check it out. Sounds awesome. We're gonna cross the border into Mexico. Got my passport. Grab some tacos. Just to document this and give you guys a whole experience, we're at the Boquillas Crossing just down a little dirt road. Here is the uh, United States port of entry. Uh, I do have my passport with me in my pocket down here. Um, Nick and I are gonna head across the river and um, we'll get more to that once we get down to the river. So just inside here is the, uh, I don't even know what to call it, border patrol. It's also the um, port of entry. We got uh, a brief little instructions on how it goes down. You basically just kind of say hi to the very nice gentleman inside, or lady, uh, if they're working. And then we're just walking down to the river. And if you don't pay attention on the inside, here are the do's and don'ts of crossing uh, into and from Mexico. A couple hundred uh, yards from the uh, port of entry, you get down to the river. And you can see just across the river, we have uh, a boat that we'll be crossing on. And then over here to the left, there's a corral with a bunch of horses and then trucks and things like that. And it looks like this guy doesn't even need a little heads up that we're coming. We didn't even whistle or wave or anything. He's just on his way over. This is the most badass border crossing I've ever done in my life. Thanks, Mexico. So this is one of the boats that we'll be crossing. Buenos dias, senor. Como estas? Bye, Claire. I'll bring you back some food from Mexico. This is... This is super cool. <laughs> so in Spanish, super cool. It's called like bien chingón or muy padre. We are crossing the Rio Grande. To you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Look at that! Crossing the Mexican border, riding donkeys, going to get tacos. This is my idea of a good time. What do you say, Nick? I love it, man. I love it. That's right. Five bucks for a donkey, five bucks across the border, and uh, propinas for our friend over here. What's your name again? Fidencio. 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 Mucho gusto, amigo. Viva Mexico! Que en silencio besaste mi mano. All right, after a short little ride, our guide is uh, tying up the uh, burro to the uh, mesquite tree. Nick is going to dismount in a minute. We're going to go get some tacos and uh, check out the little town here. So this is the, uh, the town of Boquillas. ¿Y cómo se dice en, en español? Boquillas? Boquillas del Carmen. Okay, muy bien. All right, so when you come across the border, you pay $2 in this here building. Uh, the money goes to pay for like a conservancy uh, for the environment and everybody can afford two bucks. It's this is a lot of fun. It's totally worth coming here. Alright, here is the taco plate. We got goat tacos, two flour, two corn. We got another tostada thing with some beans and rice. What do you say? First time in Mexico. It looks fantastic. Not bad, huh? I'm ready to dig in. Let's give these things a little try here. Break the issue. Mm -hmm. So we're back at the, uh, the, the donkeys. I got Claire. Uh, uh, four tacos to go. 
we got uh, Nick back on his burrow, and uh, it's about time to head back towards the border. Tacos. This is such a cool experience. If you guys come to Big Bend, you must bring your passport, and you gotta cross the river, ride a burrow, have a guide, <laughs> eat some tacos, and have a Mexican Coke. Okay, so when you come back here, you give your ticket back to these gentlemen, and then you get yourself back in the boat and go back to America. Con un beso que no he de olvidarlo. Aunque pase ni pase en los años. Ahí tan solo me queda el recuerdo. El recuerdo me agobia y me mata. Yo no sé qué le debo la vida. So something I just realized, it's uh, five bucks a person ahead to cross. We just passed about 10 people crossing. We got five more. So these guys are making a considerable amount of money. And I just kind of come to the conclusion that this little crossing is probably the reason why that little town survives, which is pretty awesome. When you come back, it's a rather painless uh, experience. You basically slide your passport in a machine. You pick up a f uh, the phone. Someone says, do you bring anything back? I said, tacos. He said, great, have a nice day. That was it. How about you? I brought back nothing. He said, have a nice day. <laughs> so easy. Uh, it's considered an unmanned point of ent port of entry. And these guys actually work for the park service. Oh, oh. I brought you some goat tacos. Oh, neato. Yeah. Are you hungry? Yes, I'm starving. All right. Housewife Claire here cleaned up the whole bus while I was gone. She cleaned up the windows, cleaned up the floors. Man, vacuum down there. Next up, hot springs. down the road no dual wheeled vehicles no RVs since uh, this is technically a van we're gonna hop in uh, the Black Pearl guys look at how tight this uh, this little <laughs> stretch is here <laughs> they were not kidding so if you do come down here leave your RV at home <laughs> hot spring is just hop skipping a jump right up here um, oh and by the way um, I don't know if I mentioned but there are hot springs on the Mexican side as well uh, our local guide I was talking to him in Spanish about that and uh, yeah he said there was at least two in the area so it could be a fun adventure for anybody uh, heading over the border who's uh, you know bringing their bikini along so this seems to be a pretty short little walk and uh, as you can see it is so beautiful. It looks like there's another abandoned building over here, all fenced off to keep it nice and uh, uh, intact. You know, humans like to destroy stuff. Um, but look at this little rock face here. And uh, the river is just right there. Along with this uh, rock wall being very pretty, there are some uh, original Native American pictographs right here. Uh, you can see the little like person kind of figure there and then on this flat surface as well. Um, that's pretty awesome. See all the bird nests up there? Yeah, and there's bird nests and hornet nests or something? No, those are bird nests, yeah. Very interesting. So we're just minding our own business, taking a nice little dip in the hot springs, and we got some uh, horses on the Mexican side just coming up for a little sip of uh, drinking water. This is what a hot spring looks like out here in uh, Rio Grande. I am uh, comfortably sharing it with you because everybody's clothed, so nobody has to uh, hide really. Uh, this was also Nick's first hot spring ever. It was awesome. You like it? Do it. Do it. <laughs> Claire Bear, how'd you like it? Two thumbs up? Yeah? Well, maybe we'll hit another one on the way out somewhere. Well, I was my 
minding my own business and uh, driving down the street and uh, happened to see a barbecue sign. <laughs> so, when in Rome, man, do as a Roman. So I'm out here in Texas, home of some of the best barbecue, and I might as well just get some barbecue. Hopefully they take credit cards. Hey, how are you? I'll get a sample of this. <laughs> that, no, that sample's for everybody, Miss Claire. For me. It, it, it was supposed to be, but she probably gets a hold of it. It's like a credit card. You That's know? right. Once she gets her hands That's on it, right. screwed. Let me get a taste of this here. Come on, Claire, I'm starving. <laughs> Feed me. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's some thing. damn good barbecue. Mm. Oh. What do you say? I guess we'll stay. Yeah. Stay? Okay. Yeah, we'll uh-huh, we're staying. Yep. Good. We'll take one of everything. <laughs> Here is the barbecue reveal. We got a little bit of everything. We got pulled pork. We got a couple pieces of bread. We got some brisket under there. We got potatoes, pickles, barbecue sauce. We got a clear bear. We got a couple drinks. Let's just try one of these ribs without a little barbecue sauce right now. Just to show you all. Mm. That's, that's good. Falls right off the bone. It does. Perfect. Mm. It's like smoky too. Juicy, smoky, tasty. And the owner out here is a real nice guy. Well, great little barbecue spot. We're gonna check out the ghost town now. And uh, by the way, the owner of the iron, I think iron horse. Um, rustic iron. Rust, sorry, rustic iron <laughs> barbecue. He's actually moving uh, locations and he gave us uh, the address, uh, which is over at the ghost town. We're gonna stay there tonight. So, how cool is that? Some good old Texas hospitality. Well, we have another gorgeous fire in the sky known as a West Texas sunset. We are now parked at the um, location of the barbecue owner's new property where he's gonna be setting up shop here. He just got the uh, electricity installed. Uh, we we're chatting for a bit, really nice guy. Um, the ghost town, this is a town of Terralinga. Um, the ghost town is <laughs> not so ghostly anymore. It's it's been re uh, I don't know habitated if you will and uh, Yeah, there's a little quirky kind of artsy uh, Community uh, there's Somebody somebody's got some full-time RVs set up. They got some airstreams. They got a teepee over here I saw a school bus someone was living in uh, just a funky place with uh, some really cheap property so kind of like a little artist calling out here um, so yeah, what an end to a great, great day. Uh, I guess I'll end it here. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please uh, consider subscribing, and we'll catch you guys tomorrow.